and welcome back to my channel. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon just a teeny tiny bit. I've seen a couple of videos of uh, 10 colouring boots that I'd like to f uh, finish. I do apologise about my nails but I'm still trying to get the acrylic off and I'm giving my nails a break. So that's that. <laughs> so I've seen, like I said, a couple of videos of 10 colouring boots I'd like to finish in 2022. Now I'm going to be really realistic with myself because there's no way that I would finish 10. Even I don't even think I want to pick 10 to say that I'd like to finish but I think these are realistic and I'll go through the reasons why. I'll pick my curvy one to go through first. Now this isn't my favourite one, I picked this one because I want to show you a couple of pictures in it. Uh, Imagine Morphia is my favourite, not Imagine Morphia, is it Imagine Morphia? Myth of Morphia. This is Imagine Morphia. Myth of Morphia is my favourite one. The camera looks like you skew if that's better. Uh, and next month, I think I'm going to do the title of it as a hashtag and for next month's videos, not all videos, but quite a few of them, are, uh, what, what was it now? Uh, crazy kirby a -thon, I'm going to do it as. So all of February, well, majority, three quarters of what I'm going to work on in February is going to be Kirby Roseanne pages because I do want to get one of his boots finished now. I know that they're so detailed and the majority of the pages are double page spreads but I think the end result that you get is absolutely superb. I mean that's a single page there. We've got a whip there that I still need to get back to. We've got my very favourite T-Rex. That was the main reason that I picked this one out of the uh, Myth of Mafia to show you because I love this one. Uh, a couple of early ones but I think if I persevere and we'll see how much that I can get done next month. We shall see. Would anybody be interested in joining me in that hashtag? I think that'll be quite fun. I do love a good Kirby and I've not done a Kirby book in a long time now it feels. Now, my favourite issue of Colour in Heaven, I didn't think that I'd say that but I love, 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 love this issue. I don't like the paper, I will be honest, I don't like the paper. It is better than uh, create space and Amazon printed paper. I've got myself a nice copper, but it's the Mystic Art Mirrors one, and I thoroughly love this book. I already have got a flip through up on my channel. I've got a body colour planned, which I will cover up because I don't know when this person's going to release the information. I have written it down, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it was in the other book, it was in the other book. What am I talking about? <laughs> it's another Mystic Art Mirrors book. Um, but there's some gorgeous pages in this and that's the one that I've finished in here. So that's a sneak peek for finished pages, but I love her. I think she's absolutely adorable. Look at the glitter in her hair, it's not picking up on camera. And the dogs decide to talk to themselves. So I'm hoping to get that finished. It's not, how many pages are in it? There's 40 pages, so I think that is really, really doable. I don't think uh, there's too many pages there for me to worry about. It's not like the double page spreads. I can easily do watercolour, pan pastel, whatever I want in the background. Just be more careful because it's not thick paper. So that's my second one. My third one I've picked because it's purely just adorable and I love dragons. I have done a few in this one actually already. A Christmas scene. Oh, I didn't say the name. It was Dragon Pups Assorted, a hand-drawn colour colouring book by Elizabeth Rose Best. Now, I saw the first, this is the second book of hers. I follow her on Instagram and saw that she had a book out. This was two years ago now, I think. And then she posted that she was releasing this, so I started to shop <laughs> and waited for her to click that release button. And I was soon on it but I love it I love the images in this book they're just so cute if you love dragons and you know whimsy things it's just adorable you can use alcohol markers watercolour anything on this paper again you've just got to be a bit careful and it is spiral bound now there is a lot of pages in this one so out of probably I'd say the mm, the Kirby one in this one is probably the least likely to get finished but we shall see Duncan Bunt, I always butcher the name of that, by Sarah Richter. I love this artist as well, she is amazing. She's really nice as well, I've spoken to her a couple of times on Instagram. Now the paper in this book is thick cardstock paper, it's absolutely brilliant. Now I have already done a couple of pages in this. 
I haven't got any new ones for this month unfortunately. That's probably my favourite out of the bunch. We'll just lift it up into the light. And that probably took me about three nights of solid working on that. But I am really proud of that one. I've got this one, a really, really vibrant background. It was done with Black Widow pencils, that I think. Uh, the doll, which is really creepy. I did that in some videos. Uh, another one that's really vibrant, very pretty. I think there's one whip, yep, one whip in here that I did with ink tents. So you think, is that it? I'm sure I did more than that. Is the one on the back that I did? I'm sure there was a bat or something, or am I thinking of a different book? I may be thinking about a different book, but same, there's loads and loads and loads of pages in this. Uh, before I forget as well, I will leave in the description links to these books, because two of them are off Etsy, one of them is just a magazine. Uh, and then the other two are off Amazon and uh, just so I want to say this now if you're not subscribed please do subscribe I try and upload as regular as I can I've started doing family blog vlogs as well of my um, obviously family me my husband my daughter and my son and my two pooches and I would love if you'd subscribe now this one is a long 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 haul book whip do you remember this one the Hannah Cowles on Soulmates one that I did all of the backgrounds. Now I've gone back and finished a couple of pages. So I'd say probably half of the book is done. So I've done the front cover. I'm halfway through that with pan pastel, but I can see me rubbing all that out because pan pastel it's so easy to remove. Just get a needable eraser on that, I think. Um that one's not too bad. I could probably finish that in one night to be honest. Um soft pastel but like that. It's funny isn't it when you look back after so long. Uh, so that one is completed. Uh, I think I use nail polish on this one. I'm sure I use nail polish as some sort of oil pastel for that background. Acrylic paint, uh, distress ink, more acrylic paint and more scholar paint and the Crayola super tips. Not got them anymore. Uh, this is a mixed media page that apparently I've put a tag in and then just put paint on. <laughs> Uh, this is another finished one. I do really, really like this one. I think she's so pretty and I like the colour choices that I went with on this one. But this is really early work of mine. And I do enjoy just sitting here and flip through it. So I went for a mountain scene in the background for the reindeers. Ink tents. Oh, that one is more or less complete. I just need to do the background. I actually went to Wales. I did most of that when we went to Wales. For like a weekend away. I all pastel. I've actually completed this whole page but in the other language of this book. I can't remember what the other one is. Oil pastel I think. Soft pastel and loads and loads of gel pen. It's not shimmering. It's not shimmering but I swear it's shimmering. Uh, ink tents which I will never listen to my husband ever again. Ever again. He kept saying give her red eyes, give her red eyes. And it looks terrible, so I have to go over that with acrylic paint. Uh, we've got oil pastel and the Crayola Super Tips, I think, again. I could be mistaken. Uh, and then that Dovecraft thingy-majig. It's like a 3D. It dries 3D. Mostly acrylic, so that one's done. A Vampire Girl. Now this one, I wish I'd done, because I've seen it done so many times, is like Harry Potter. So I suppose I could still do that. I'll just have to change the colours a little bit. But I like this one because of the washi tape. This one looks completely done. That whole background was done with Prismacolor and it was a pain in the bottom. Uh, ink tents again. Uh, soft pastel, nothing but stickles. Uh, ink tents again, soft pastel. Ink tents with nail polish. This one is a disaster of a page with ink tents. I hate it, I hate everything about it. The colours, everything. Oil pastel, no, not oil, oil, acrylic paint. Now, I was going for a nice sunset scene, but to me it looks like the village is burning. So, I don't know whether I should keep it like that or go over it with acrylic paint. Another completely finished one. I love everything about this one. Love it, love it, love it. There's stickles on this, ink tents for the sort of background. I love her, I think she's beautiful. Another one finished with the chinchilla. It's chinchilla, I'm sure it is. I tried to do acrylic paint for 
this was just collage. Uh, Jane Davenport colour sticks. A lot of gel pen. I think I went through three gel pens doing this. I'll just try and catch it in the light and it's not going to let me, is it? It's not as shiny as it used to be, unfortunately. And that is the Pentel Hybrid Duo pe uh, pens. Uh, paint, acrylic paint. I'm going to tell my dog off because she's being annoying. They're both coming into season so they won't leave, leave each other alone. Anyway, ink tents, a collage, a complete page. I love this one as well. How adorable is that? Is that a Papillon? Papillon? Uh, watercolour, which needs to be got, gone over again. Watercolour again with washi tape. Another completed one. So as you can see, there's there's quite a few that I have completed in this book. So it's not necessarily... I might be able to do like, all of this in one night, maybe two, you know, a posh. Another completed one. Another completed one that I hated the skin because I used the super tips. And then one that I'm halfway through and I've actually written down what I'm up to. I use the Albert Dura watercolour pencils for all these details. And I don't know why I've not come back to that because it's so, so close to be finished. But they're my books that I'm picking for this year. I don't think I picked any books last year because I know what I'm like. But now that I've put the video out there, it might give me the motivation uh, to do it. But don't forget about Kirby Month next month. I will have all the details on Instagram in the next week or so. Well, it has to be in the next week because we're nearly at next month. I keep forgetting. Time goes so fast, especially when you get older. Especially when you get older. But if you did enjoy this video, please do give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.